Believe it or not, luxury cars and mansions are only for the social elite. However, owning a private jet is a luxury reserved only for the wealthiest of the wealthy. But who other than a ruler can afford this luxury? The richest presidents in the world are known to possess expensive private jets. Sultan of Brunei Hassan al bolkiah is the current Sultan of Brunei. He was born on July 15, 1946 in Seri, Bandar, Brunei. After his father, Sir Muda Omar Ali Saifuddin abdicated, he became a Sultan at the age of 21. Brunei Sultan Hassan Bolkiah is one of the world's wealthiest and most powerful monarchs. He benefits from Brunei's oil and gas reserves. He is known for his elegant lifestyle, which includes his collection of luxury cars, private jets, and yachts. The Sultan is known to own a collection of wide-body aircraft, which includes an Airbus at 340, a Boeing 767, and his largest aircraft, the Boeing 747-430. The 747-430 is an updated model of the Boeing 747 and can accommodate up to 416 passengers in a three-class layout. The aircraft has a living room, master bedroom, and luxurious bathroom. The Sultan reportedly paid more than $100 million for the plane and around $120 million for a Sultan-like interior. This essentially means covering everything with bespoke rugs, lalik, crystal, hardwood, and gold. However, too many details about the plane have not been released due to security concerns and the fact that the Sultan is a government official. However, the published specimens show the wealth of the Sultan. The entire refit and modernization of the aircraft was carried out in the United States. In addition to unique interiors adorned with priceless metal and wood, the plane's modernization has enhanced its flight capabilities. The standard 747 to 430 has a range of 13,450 kilometers or 7,262 nautical miles. But the Bruni Sultan 747 to 430 has extra fuel tanks, allowing it to travel 15,000 kilometers or 8,100 nautical miles with ease. Its flight space is absolutely perfect for long haul flights. Xi Jinping Xi Jinping, the leader of the People's Republic of China, was born on June 15, 1953. His political career spanned several years. He served as vice president from 2008 to 2013 and became general secretary of the Communist Party of China in 2012 and president of China in 2013. Xi Jinping is widely regarded as one of the most powerful Chinese leaders of contemporary times. He has witnessed major changes in China's economy, politics, and society, and initiated several ambitious initiatives. He has a reputation for being cautious and following the party line, with a focus on promoting stability and cleaning up the country's financial image. For official reasons, Xi traveled on two Air China Boeing 747s, with tail numbers B-2447 and B-2472. At the time of production, each aircraft had a catalog value of approximately $250 million. However, these planes are usually used for commercial purposes, generating more revenue for the government. Once the president plans future international travel, the aircraft was thoroughly inspected by presidential security personnel to ensure maximum security that day. The process can take several weeks, after which the plane is sent for refitting, which involves removing some seats in the cabin and replacing them with spacious living areas, bedrooms, and offices. The details of the manipulation are currently unclear. After the trip, the aircraft will return to Air China and return to its original state to resume passenger operations. Vladimir Putin Vladimir Putin the current president of the Russian Federation, a position he has held since May 7, 2012, has a fleet of helicopters and another Airbus, CG319, in VIP configuration, mainly for local use flight. The Russian-made IL-96-300 PUI aircraft is Vladimir Putin's favorite model. With its elongated fuselage fairing, the wide-body long-haul aircraft is easily distinguished from airliners. The government has equipped the plane with state-of-the-art communications equipment, allowing it to act as a management center capable of quickly issuing orders to troops in the event of an unforeseen war. 
The Snow White Plain is respected only for its size. It is nearly 65 meters long and has a wingspan of over 65 meters. The aircraft has a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 270 tons and a maximum cruising speed of 900 kilometers slash it. The machine's exterior is fairly similar to the standard model, but its interior is ornate with drapes and gold detailing. The interior design and furniture were carefully designed by Ivan Glazinov, son of the famous Russian artist Ilya Glazinov. The president can work and rest comfortably thanks to a fully personalized interior design which includes a large office, bedroom, bathroom, and a fully equipped gym. Of course, a $500 million plane must have good security. The elite pilot team of the Russian Aerospace Forces guarantees higher safety of the aircraft, covering both inside and outside Russia. Putin's planes are equipped with multiple layers of defense against possible ground or air attacks. Aircraft fuselages are coated with special materials that reduce the aircraft's visibility to RCS and automated systems that confuse and jam radar. The FSB keeps more information about the safety of the plane as a secret number. Joe Biden Joe Biden is the 46th President of the United States, taking office on January 20, 2021. Born on November 20, 1942, in Scranton, Pennsylvania, he grew up in a middle-class family. Biden graduated from the University of Delaware in 1965 and Syracuse Law School in 1968. Shortly thereafter, his political career took off, and he was first elected to the U.S. Senate from Delaware in 1972, where he served for 36 years before being elected Vice President of the United States in 2008 alongside President Barack Obama. Biden served two terms as vice president from 2009 to 2017. Biden relies heavily on two identical custom-built planes. The planes are heavily modified versions of the Boeing 700 and 47200B, designated by the government's military acronym VC-25A. Considering the president's needs, two Boeing 700 and 47200Bs underwent major modifications. Compared to the original model, the VC-25A offers greater improvement in flight range and is more fuel-efficient on long-haul flights. Biden's VC-25 serves as the main administrative center of the government. Several secure communication routes, including satellite, are available on Air Force One. The security systems of the plane are ready to defend against both common attacks and any unanticipated events, including focused electromagnetic impulse ass. Additionally, there is a medical suite that serves as an actual operating room. The plane includes a sizable living area for the president, including the bedroom, bathroom, gym, and offices. Each member of his entourage has a private area on Air Force One, with those in higher positions having access to separate offices. This presidential aircraft can comfortably seat up to 26 crew members and 70 passengers in total. The exact cost of the VC-25A is impossible to determine. We do know that the passenger version cost $100 million to build when it was created in 1999. The cost of the aircraft has significantly increased as a result of the changes and enhancements to the flight characteristics, as well as the installation of communication and security systems. We could guess that approximately $1 billion may have been spent on each of the Boeing 700 and 47200Bs, given that both of the VC-25 as were modernized and modified. German President Frank Walter Steinmeier German politician and former diplomat Frank Walter Steinmeier has been the President of Germany since 2017. As the ceremonial head of state for Germany, Steinmeier represents the country both domestically and internationally. The German federal government, which includes the President, Chancellor, and other members, maintains a fleet of aircraft and helicopters. The most well-known aircraft owned by the President is an Airbus A3000, 313 XVIP called the Conrad Adenauer. Steinmeier has access to many other aircraft, all of which are controlled by the German military services. Along with the Conrad Adenauer, he has a Eurocopter S-532, which is used for trips to nearby countries. President Steinmeier also has access to some business aircraft, including a Bombardier Global, 5,000 with an estimated market value of roughly $70 million, and two Airbus A319-100 
and 33 XCGs with an estimated market value of more than $150 million each. However, despite having a range of more than 6,000 kilometers, the A319-100 and 33 XCJ Airbus is rarely used for intercontinental travel. The flagship Airbus, a 3,000, 313 XVIP aircraft known as Konrad Adenauer and its twin Theodor Heiss are the most well-known aircraft in the German government's fleet. Recently, the A3000 313 XVIP Konrad Adenauer has been replaced by three Airbus A350s, one of which is still referred to as the Konrad Adenauer. The Airbus A350 was ordered in 2019 and was delivered brand new to Lufthansa Technik at the end of March 2021. Both Konrad Adenauer and Teter Heiss are named after West Germany's first chancellor and president, respectively. After undergoing some renovation and construction projects, the interior of the planes was upgraded to give a cozy and contemporary feel. The commercial equivalent of the Airbus A350 has room for about 350 passengers, and the amount spent on customizing three A350 to Air Force One standards is estimated to be $1.3 billion. In addition to that, apartments with bathrooms, bedrooms, and offices are available for meetings and official obligations. A conference room with video conferencing technology and a completely soundproof area for discussions are also available. The configuration of the aircraft includes a missile defense system and military radio equipment. President Qasem Jomars Tokayev of Kazakhstan Qasem Jomart Tokayev, born on May 17, 1953, in Almaty, Kazakhstan, is a Kazakh politician who has been serving as the president of Kazakhstan since 2019. Tokayev had a long and illustrious career in Kazakh diplomacy and politics. From 1994 to 1999 and again from 2002 to 2007, he served as Kazakhstan's Minister of Foreign Affairs. He was also Kazakhstan's Premier from 1999 to 2002 and again from 2003 to 2005. A fleet of planes estimated to cost more than $250 million is at the President's disposal in Kazakhstan. It includes a variety of aircraft as well as an Mi-8 helicopter, which is usually used for shorter journeys. Despite the size of the presidential fleet, only a few aircraft are consistently chosen for the most significant occasions. The top three are the Airbus A32214 CJ, Airbus A3000 313 Prestige, and Airbus 321-11 CG Prestige. The Airbus A3000 313 Prestige is the most valuable of the set and is reserved for occasions like the G20 Summit, where the most powerful people in the world come together to discuss hot-button political issues. It has also been used for state visits to the US, China, and Russia. For example, the plane made a formal visit to Russia in April 2019 and landed at the new Kovo-2 airport. In addition to these specifically dedicated planes, Kazakhstan-based Burkut Air, which was established in 2000, also assists the government by offering extra planes when necessary. The president may choose to travel via Tupolev Tu-134 AK or Oeing 750-7200, for instance. It is also important to mention that presidents frequently fly on domestic carriers to support their own country, and Kazakhstan is no exception. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan of the UAE Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan is the ruler of Abu Dhabi and the current president of the United Arab Emirates. Born on March 11, 1961, he is credited with being the driving force behind numerous programs that enhanced Abu Dhabi security while fostering the Emirates' socio-economic development and cultural diversity. The al Nayan family is well known for having enormous wealth, and included in this is a fleet of private aircraft, including the largest commercial passenger airplane in the world, the Airbus A380. The royal family is officially transported by presidential flight, previously known as Abu Dhabi Amiri Flight, the organization responsible for flights for the Abu Dhabi government. The presidential aircraft include the A6UA, a Boeing 747, a 6 a UHA Boeing 737, 
and a 6 YSA Boeing 747, respectively. The A6 PFC and A6 PFA, both Boeing 787 Dreamliners, were recently added to the flight. While a customized version of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, Boeing Business Jet, was created exclusively for the Office of the President. It is reportedly one of the most modern and adaptable private aircraft available and has a luxuriously fitted and roomy interior. The various models of the Boeing 787 BBJ include the BBJ, BBJ-2, and BBJ-3. The base variant of the BBJ has a range of up to 9,800 nautical miles and can carry up to 40 passengers. The BBJ-2 is simply a longer version of the normal model, offering more space and seating for up to 78 passengers, while the BBJ-3 is the largest of the three with a range of up to 80-55 nautical miles and seating for up to 100 passengers. In addition to its technical capacity, the Boeing 787 BBJ is outfitted with cutting-edge amenities and technology, including satellite communications, high-speed internet, and an advanced entertainment system. The interior, which includes a well-furnished sitting room, a dining area, a bedroom, and a bathroom, is tailored completely to match the demands and tastes of the president. The jet is also known for its low emissions and fuel consumption, making it the best option for air travel. It is the best choice for leisure and corporate travel due to its long range and fuel efficiency. I mean this jet combines comfort, style, and performance in one convenient package. Due to configuration and customization choices, the cost of a Boeing 787 BBJ varies. However, a brand new 787 BBJ is thought to cost about $250 million at the base level. Korea's Kim Jong-un Kim Jong-un, a North Korean politician born on January 8, 1982, has been the country's supreme leader since 2011 and the head of the Workers' Party of Korea WPK since 2012. He is the third child of Ko Young-wee and Kim Jong-il, who served as Korea's second supreme leader from 1994 until 2011. He is the grandson of Kim Il-sung, who founded North Korea and served as its first supreme leader from the country's founding in 1948 until his passing in 1994. The only leader of North Korea to be born there since the nation's founding is Kim Jong-un. Despite being the most secretive nation in the world, information about Kim Jong-un's private plane is public. The DBR Supreme Leader travels on a modified Ilyushin AL-62 from the Cold War called Shomai-1 after a North Korean native species of hawk. The IL-62, which initially took flight in 1963 and was built until 1995, was the biggest jet airliner ever. Due to how old and how expensive the operational cost of the aircraft is, it is going into extinction. And there are only about 14 of these aircraft left, both governmentally and commercially. AL-62, with all of its equipment, can carry 200 passengers. Kim Jong-un's aircraft is a VIP version that is comparable in size to Air Force One in the US. Kim Jong-un is seen inside his lavishly adorned aircraft in pictures published by the state-run Korean Central News Agency. The images display a luxurious environment with big white leather chairs, rosewood tables with a polished finish, and a crystal ashtray. It is unknown how much the original plane and the modifications made to it cost. Kim Jong-un was spotted inside the IL-62, and the interior was decorated with old 1980-style furniture. This can be seen in authorized pictures published by the Korean Central News Agency, showing Kim Jong-un in the airplane. Since that time, the interior of the aircraft has lately undergone considerable refurbishing. South Korea's President Yun Sun Yul, born on December 18, 1960, Yun Sun Yul assumed control on May 10, 2022. The head of state and head of government of the Republic of Korea is officially the President of the Republic of Korea. He's also referred to as the President of South Korea. The President serves as the head of the State Council, the head of the National Executive Branch, and the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Korea. The presidential jet of South Korea was a Boeing 747-400, but has recently been upgraded to a Boeing 747-8i, which is being leased by Korean Air. There is also a Sikorsky S-92 helicopter 
2 military Casa C and a Boeing 737-300, which the president utilizes for domestic travel. These round out the president's remarkable slate. With the exception of a red and blue sideline and a blue and red pattern on the tail, the entire fleet is painted white. There are few known facts about the customization carried out on the Boeing 747-8 cabin by the team responsible for South Korea's presidential travel arrangements. However, it is safe to assume that it is as comfortable and efficiently fitted as possible. It is not publicly known how much the lease with Korean Air costs. However, the five-year contract is said to be worth over $240 million. Italy's Sergio Mattarella Sergio Mattarella was born on July 23, 1941, in Palermo. He is Italy's second longest-serving leader and has served as the President of Italy since 2015. President Sergio graduated with a law degree from Rome's La Sapienza University in 1964, and his political career began as a result of his commitment to Catholic social reform. He was a member of the Chamber of Deputies from 1983 until 2008, after being elected as a representative for the Christian Democrats in the Western Sicily District with an amazing political career of 30 years. He is also a lawyer, an academic, and a jurist. He is proficient. Sergio Mattarella uses the Airbus A34500 as his primary means of international travel. This Airbus has been leased from Etihad Airways since 2016, when this is not being used. The Italian government has three Airbus A319 Chies, which were purchased in the year 2000. President Sergio Mattarella and his escort are frequently transported by three aircraft. Since the model can only hold up to 30 passengers at a time, the aircraft are available for flight around the clock and are also sometimes used as emergency, medical, and evacuation vehicles. The Airbus A34500 is the passenger aircraft with the greatest range. It has four Rolls-Royce Trent 55,361 engines that enable it to carry 293 passengers in normal configuration over a distance of up to 16,000. 670 kilometers. With the top speed of 1061 kilometers per hour, Gs of the Italian Air Force are equipped with fully electronic flight control systems and other cutting-edge auxiliary electronics that enable them to land automatically in the event of reduced vertical and horizontal visibility. It is reported that a brand new Airbus A34500 sold for about $262 million in 2011. However, the Italian Air Force has decided to hire for about $1.14 million each month instead of purchasing. The Airbus A319 CJ, on the other hand, costs approximately $90 million. French President Emmanuel Macron French politician who has been President of France since 2017, was born on December 21, 1977. He is also one of the two co-princes of Andorra ex officio. Macron worked as Assistant Secretary General of the Presidency from 2012 to 2014, and for President Francois Hollande as Minister of Economics, Industry and Digital Affairs from 2014 to 2016. Emmanuel Macron is France's youngest president since Napoleon and the first candidate to win the presidency during the Fifth Republic without the support of either the Socialists or the Gallists. He also won a second term in 2022 being the first French president to do so in 20 years. When it comes to the president's plane travel, France spares no expense. The president's aircraft is a sleek contemporary Airbus A320 that costs about $270 million. Macron's principal aircraft is not just a comfortable means of long-distance travel. It serves as a management hub that enables real-time command of the major armed forces and political entities. The Airbus A320 that the French president travels in is fitted with a bedroom that has a huge bed, a shower, and a dressing area. The cabin also includes a kitchen, an office, a soundproof negotiation room that can accommodate 12 people, a small operation room, as well as a room set aside for media and other members of the entourage. The airliner's communication system has several secure connection channels that may transmit encrypted messages and top-secret data. In addition to the Airbus, Emmanuel Macron also has two responsive Dassault Falcon 7X aircraft in his aviation fleet. Their versatility means that they are equally adept at relatively short and transatlantic flights. 
These aircraft were bought in 2009 and 2010 and are smaller in size when compared to the Airbus. This makes them far better suited to shorter air trips in France and the key interest countries that the president frequently visits. Owning a private jet is a luxury that many people only dream of. However, being president entails a lot of travel, many times impromptu. For this reason, commercial airlines cannot provide the security, comfort, and flexibility that private aircraft offer. What better way for the number one citizen to arrive in another country than in a customized jet? I bet you agree too. Thank you for watching this video.